Welcome, 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 you guys. It is your girl, Brown Skin Exoticals, and I am back with another video for you guys. I hope all my exotical, mixed, light skin, yellow bone, red bone, all of us racially ambiguous folk are having a terrific Tuesday. Today's video is especially for us ladies. Y'all saw the title for today's video. This is going to be a bit of a controversial one, but something I have not been able to talk with any other mixed or light skin person in the real world as well as i haven't necessarily heard this really talked about online but bear with me y'all because i actually got inspiration for this idea through this tiktok i saw where the rapper sukiana was telling this latina girl who she appears white but she's latina mariah lynn was telling her oh like her coochie stinks and she obviously didn't tell her directly but she was saying like in the confessional like oh i wouldn't say her coochie smells like garbage but it smelled like a hint of lunch meat like the original video for this had several hundreds of thousands of likes and several comments it's most of those comments being black women like oh it must be true since it was so oddly specific of course it doesn't smell bad all of them laughing and clowning her that video had to be reported so i couldn't find the original but i found this one that they made a second one of that's more recent and the thing i realized is is there is a ongoing coochie war and to be quite frank i see black women do this not as much they obviously can do this with hispanic and latina women but they do this with mixed women a lot oh just trying to see like who we having sex with who our baby daddy is oh my cat's better than hers i can't tell y'all not just myself, but I'm sure Exoticals United on YouTube can also vouch for this. The amount of emails she gets of multiple black women trying to hook up with their mixed women's friends. And these obviously aren't your friends, ladies, but they'll try to get with your guy to kind of prove that I'm on the same social hierarchy as she is. And it's odd and very psychotic behavior. Like, you don't see this in other races and phenotypes of women other than unambiguous black women or someone who's monocrochely influenced by unambiguous black women that includes mixed and light skin saviors but the ones who will go out their way to make vulgar comments about your body oh she's so skinny oh she's so this oh i can do all these sexual things i'll do this that and the third and they'll project and say oh we're the ones who are flirting we're the ones who are the jezebels we are the ones who are trying to sleep with everyone's man no it's literally y'all and the worst part is, is I keep saying it, outside of sex, a lot of black women don't know how to do anything remotely feminine, be elegant, graceful, without idolizing, imitating another race or people group. Literally putting us, exoticals, and non-black women on a pedestal. Look at this TikTok. Okay. I'm selling coochie. I'm selling coochie. I'm selling coochie. I'm selling Now, before y'all try to kill me in the comment section saying I'm bullying and obviously that was a TikTok and she didn't mean it. Yes, I get it. It's a damn joke. But the point is, is listen to the song. The same Sukiyana, which I was just talking about, made that song. And as much as they complain about being Jezebels and people only see them as sexual items, I'm not saying they deserve it. I'm for all for women who want to be sexual liberal and liberated. I'm saying... No one's sexually wanting black women, they're throwing themselves at people. I know that sounds horrible, but let's be real. The people who honestly say the most, oh, we're the most disrespected, we're the most rejected. So then it doesn't make sense to me how you're so rejected, no one wants you. But all these men want to secretly have sex with you. And again, it's the fantasy. Oh, the white man looked at me for a second. Oh, this guy who is in the mixed and light skin community looked at me. Oh, I have a brother, sister, cousin, somebody who looks like one of these exoticals could want me. I can make an exotical and I can raise her to be a mini me. And oh, they're going to love black women and worship and kiss our asses and all this psychotic behavior that we see in reddit forums on youtube and we hear these black women talk like this in real life i'll say it again just so that it can sting and simmer in your system black women do not have the sexual options they think they do they throw themselves on men we see this 
in Caribbean culture, African, African American, and I'm sure you can probably see this too, even for our mixed and light-skinned people who see African and Black people in Europe. It's not uncommon. Even people like Sue Guiana aren't just a monolith. So just saying, oh, that Sukiyanas, they make us look bad. No, this is how y'all actually are with men. So even, again, as y'all know, I'm of Caribbean descent. So we have a well-known artist, female artist. Her name is Spice. Very vulgar. So it's not just an African-American thing or, oh, no, African women are so much more elegant or Caribbean women. No, they don't. They be throwing ass like everyone else. They be throwing themselves on men like anyone else. It's the over-sexual desperation and constant concern of our genital affairs. Like, they're not our gynecologists, but they're trying to swim all in our system. <laughs> You have people so obsessed with you. If they could eat you for breakfast every morning, they would. They got, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if these people put you up on their TV and they prop it up every morning and just eat their cereal, just smack them looking at you. They, they just, they just can't. They're in awe of you and everything you do. If they say they hate you, just baby, know it ain't true. There's love behind the hate mixed in with it on top of it, under it. They wish they could eat off of you. They wish they could eat you. Boy, Lord of mercy. So just wanted to share with y'all that quick TikTok, which I saw, and it sums up everything perfectly. And I know she didn't specify mixed race women, exotical, racially ambiguous women specifically, but that really applies to us more than most people were willing to admit. And obviously y'all are grown. I'm not telling y'all what to and what not to do, but stay safe out there and stay away from women as well as men who are like that.